Good morning, True Beauty fam, and welcome back to my channel if you are a returning viewer. Also, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Okay, so first things first, I need to put something on my lips because they look hella dry. So, we're going to do that. Okay, now that my lips are moisturized, we're going to go ahead and go into the kitchen. I know it's dark and you guys can't see me right now. That's because the lights off right in the dining room. But um, yeah, so we are in the kitchen and I'm just going to, I'm sorry, my whole titties are in frame right now because I have a tripod, so gonna set you guys up on the tripod so yeah we're in my kitchen right now I'm just gonna make something quick for breakfast for myself I think I want to do a smoothie so I'm gonna take out my magic bullet. I was about to call this a neutral bullet. It's not a neutral bullet. It's a magic bullet, but it works just as good. So I'm going to see if I can balance you guys with something so my boobs aren't the only thing that you guys are looking at. No, that's too slippery. I can't balance you guys on that. Anywho. Um. Okay, so I'm going to go get the fruits that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I have some strawberries. Some pineapple chunks. And some peaches. So I'm going to put that all into the smoothie. I'm not really measuring anything out. I kind of just like what I like. Okay, I think that's good for strawberries. I think I'm going to do like three peach slices, maybe one more, oh my god, yo I always drop in something, what the hell, some pineapple chunks, I filled the rest of the cup up with coconut water so that it's easier to blend and I might add some pineapple juice. Okay. Just topped it off with some pineapple juice. And now we're gonna going to let that blend I know that's really loud but like that thing is so strong 
you guys can't see anything. That thing in the kit, the magic bullet is so strong, you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the vlog here and then I'll see you guys back when my smoothie is ready. Okay, yeah, so the smoothie is done. It wasn't gonna take that long. So this is only like a couple seconds later from that clip. But here's how pretty it looks. And we're just gonna taste test it. I've never made this smoothie before, so. Mm. I think next time I add more peaches because I do like the taste of peaches. So I think I'll add more peaches next time and maybe a little less pineapple juice or maybe a little less pineapple because I feel like that also kind of is making the pineapple overpower it. But pineapple already has a strong taste. How long am I going to talk about fruits? I don't know. But um, yeah, pineapple has a pretty strong taste. So I'll probably use maybe less pineapple and more peaches next time I do this. But um, it's good. I like it. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to put these away in my freezer. Oh, I'm also going to put this in the fridge since I didn't use all of it. I only used like a little bit. I think I want to make... Mm. I feel like I want to make something but I don't want anything heavy because I know this is going to fill me up and I'm probably going to be good until like 2, 3 but um yeah I'm thinking of what I'm trying to do with my life right now um, I'll probably make some toast or something. I feel like that would be good. Um, I'm gonna go decide. And today's video is gonna be a vlog, but also like a sit down. Because I'm gonna be telling you guys what's on my Christmas playlist and my favorite songs or whatever. So, yeah, that's what today's video slash vlogmas is gonna be. And I'm also gonna pre-film today. So... Yeah, I'm going to pre-film, I think maybe for tomorrow and for day four, maybe. So, yeah. See you guys later. Okay, so I, on I decided on only the finest of cuisine. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But this is no ordinary peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It is a toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If you had not toasted your peanut butter and jelly, it will change your life. But in the comments down below, we need to have a discussion on if you are team grape jelly or team strawberry jelly. I'm team grape jelly, but that's only because when I was younger, my grandma used to put strawberry jelly all the time. And then I was introduced to grape jelly, and that was it for me. I I prefer grape jelly to strawberry jelly, but if y'all don't prefer either, let me know in the comments down below. I feel like this is such a weird discussion to be having, but like, I want to know like what you guys are into, what you guys like or whatever. Trying to build, you know, engagement. And yeah, I uploaded my vlogmas day one so late yesterday, and that's because I'm horrible. <laughs> I knew I had to free up space on my laptop, and I procrastinated. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, only this what happened to me. Only this what happened to me. Who does that? Who does that? Me. That's who. I do that. Yeah, I gotta clean this up. Yo, what the hell is wrong with me? For real. What is going on today? And this isn't balancing correctly. It's like balanced weird. Um, okay. Anyways, guys, as I was saying before I dropped my smoothie, that came off so easily. I thought I was going to be struggling out here. I'm on the struggle bus right now. I got my period this morning, guys. Anyways, 
let me get back to the topic we were talking about before. I uploaded in my vlogmas quite late yesterday. Well, not that late, but you know, it was late enough. I uploaded it at like 9.30, maybe after that, but 9.30 something, I uploaded my vlogmas. And because I procrastinated to free up space, actually I was good because I started early. I started when I, when I came downstairs, it was like 11... 30 something or maybe before that so I came downstairs I did I plugged in my laptop because my laptop had died booted it up whatever I plugged my disc in so that I could free up space on my laptop not my disc my um external hard drive so I could free up space on my laptop. I knew what was taking most of my space up was iMovie because that's where I edit my videos. And so it kept disconnecting because like anytime I would like go to move my laptop because the wire is pretty long. The wire for my um external hard drive is probably about as long as this paper towel or maybe even a little longer. And I didn't carry the hard drive with my laptop whenever I would move I would just move everything so I would like take my laptop and drag everything with it but it kept unplugging so I had to reconnect my hard drive three times yesterday um it took like between two and three hours for my iMovie library to copy because of how much stuff I had in there, number one. And like, when I edit videos, I don't, excuse me, I don't, um, like, as soon as I edit them, I don't put them on my uh, external hard drive. I just wait until, like, my computer is like, hey, your disk space is almost full. Um, I'll free it up. But it takes pretty long because what I used to when I started editing videos is I would put my videos in photos. So then I would have to copy everything from photos and airdrop them. Not airdrop them. Um, regular drop them. Hold on. Let me get in the living room and then we can continue this informative talk about my life <laughs> okay so as i was saying i used to um when i used to film i would put in my sd card on my or my phone whatever i had videos on at the time like whatever i recorded on at the time and i would import them into photos on my laptop and then from photos i would import them into imovie and that would take up much more space than me just importing straight to iMovie. But I didn't know how to do that at first when I first started editing. So just know if you want to get into YouTube, it's a learning curve for editing. Like if you've never edited a video before, because I never had. Actually, no, that's a lie. Actually, no, it's not a lie because in school I never learned we didn't go into iMovie. Um, if you don't know, I went to a technology high school in the city, in Manhattan. And um, my technological pathway was digital design and animation. So I learned how to edit videos in Photoshop through Maya. Like, it was a whole thing. So um, I'm very grateful for that experience. And... Um, yeah, I wish they had more, like, pathways. I think they have more now, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, besides the point, irrelevant. <laughs> we didn't learn in school how to edit videos in iMovie. And if we did, it was in ninth grade, and it was very brief. Because I have, I don't remember ever learning how to use iMovie. Um, but yeah, so... Actually, no, that's a lie. When I was in, um... 
ninth grade, we had a art program during the summer that could get you an art credit for um, school. Because to graduate, you need two art credits from high school. And um, we had a summer program and we learned how to use iMovie. Wow, how could I forget that? But um, yeah, it was a very brief learning of iMovie. So when I had to like do it on my own, it was kind of like learning it all over again. Especially since I was getting into the YouTube thing. And I was like very nervous and I didn't want to mess anything up. I wanted everything to be perfect. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my long story about using iMovie and why I had to free the space on my laptop. But it does take longer um, for my disc to fill up when I'm importing straight to iMovie. So now I just import straight to iMovie and I won't have to free up space on my laptop for like, I wanna say maybe a year, year and a half because I really don't get the message that often. Um, and I also have like 750 gigabytes of uh, hard drive in my laptop, so yeah. It doesn't take, uh, I should say, it's, it doesn't uh, fill up with space that quickly when I import straight to iMovie. So I'm going to go ahead and eat, and then I will come back and show you guys my Christmas playlist. I'm going to set you guys up here in front of my window because the window has really good lighting. All right, I'm about to change the tripod because this tripod is not what it's hitting for. This is the most unflattering angle ever. Please do not take screenshots of this. This is literally the most unflattering angle, but I have to put this tripod on. Okay, tripod is on and we're ready. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys my Christmas playlist, what I'll be listening to throughout the month of December. So, first things first, um, it's going to be the Christmas Kisses EP by Ariana Grande. And, yo, this EP, it was just, it was so good. Like, I don't know, like, it just, it gets you in the Christmas spirit. And I like that she did... A couple of her own songs and a couple of like classics but she made them her own like she made it her sound and it's just this album hit so hard okay so on the album well on the ep we have last christmas love is everything snow in california and santa baby uh featuring liz gillies and I would have to say, uh, if I had to pick a favorite song, I don't know. Um, hey, I would say my top two are Last Christmas and Santa Baby. Because, like, I don't know, those just, those songs, they just give me a mood. But Santa Baby, it's like, it makes you feel grown. It makes you feel like, you know, you be wanting to do some things. Like, you know. You know, you know. But yeah, anyways. Uh, Santa Baby was definitely... It was a bop. It was... They said period on that song. Um, so the next thing that I will be listening to is... Um, the Christmas and Chill EP. Whew! Uh, I love the intro. I love What It This Christmas. I love December. I love Not Just On Christmas. The whole album, whole EP, it was gold. It was, I listened to this more than I listened to Christmas Kisses, but this one was a bop. Like, it was, I still, like, even when it's not Christmas, I be streaming this because the songs are just that good, like, period. But, um, the whole album, I can't pick a favorite song, but the whole EP, it was gold. So, yeah, that's, hold on. If you haven't listened to her Christmas EPs, you should. 
Santa Tell Me, also a bop. Santa Tell Me. Ooh, don't get copyrighted because, you know, I heard they be copyrighted videos if you sing in the video. So, mm -mm. not today, Jesus. I should say not today, Jesus. Not today, Satan. Mm -mm. Y'all not going to copyright my video. Ooh, Justin Bieber under the mistletoe. Y'all can say what you want. But, yo, I used to be, like, a whole believer, like, bro. But Under the Mistletoe, amazing. Amazing album. Amazing Christmas album. I want him to do another Christmas album so bad. But, like, I know he's, like, content with how he is right now. So, you know, I'm going to let him be. But I really want him to make another Christmas album. Because I feel like. He could make one as good, if not better, than Under the Mistletoe. Because this was a bump. I still bump this. Again, same thing with the Christmas and Chill EP. I bump this even when it's not Christmas. Because the songs are just that good. But, um... The whole album. I can't even... I'm trying to think if I could pick a favorite song. Um, Fa La La was really good. Uh, Christmas Love. Um... Uh, mistletoe, obviously. Only thing I ever got for, only thing I ever get for Christmas, bop, oh my god. Yes, period. Um, Drummer Boy was great. Homeless Christmas, yo, I love that song. My sister does not really like that song, but I love that song. She says she skips, skips that song when it comes on, but I love that song. Um, I'm also going to be listening to, what's her name, Daniela Aunt Andrade, is that how you say her name? I feel like I pronounced her name so wrong, but her Christmas album was really, really nice. I really liked the sound. Um, trying to see if I can find it. I think she called it the Christmas album. The Christmas EP. Haha! -ha, I was right. The Christmas EP. Uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. <gasps> so good. Um, her voice is beautiful. Um, but yeah. I did make my own iCloud account recently. Well, I should say Apple account recently, so I've had to re-download a lot of music. Um, but yeah, the Christmas EP is really good, and it also does set the tone. Um, my favorite song on the album is Christmas Time Is Here. If you don't know that song, it's from, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, A Charlie Brown Christmas. And um, I loved her the sound her sound on this song it was so good and i love the video that she made with her dog it was so cute it was so good but um yeah that is my christmas playlist and those are some of my favorite songs um uh, i'm sorry today's vlog is a little short but i'm really not doing anything today i'm just gonna be home um but other than that and i'm also gonna pre film today so there's really no like sense to continue this vlog since I'm not really going to be doing anything besides pre-filming for the other days of Vlogmas and being prepared and proactive and not procrastinating and stressing myself out because we are not about that this Vlogmas. But um, I feel like I'm more confident this Vlogmas and um, I feel like I'm better than last year because I flopped last year. I only did until day 19 of Vlogmas and... Um, I feel like my vlogs were, like, bad, but, like, I feel like I get better every year, and then when I watch myself, like, I'm just like, yo, I could be so much better. But this year, I feel, like, so confident and happy, and I don't know, I just, I feel really happy, and I feel like I'm happier than I was last year. I was really questioning myself. I like how this went from my Christmas playlist to, like, my emotional trauma. <laughs> But, um, 
no seriously i feel really happy i feel happier than last year i feel like last year i was still trying to figure myself out because i didn't know what i was going to do and like i'm someone who thinks about the future a lot and i i try to think about the now and i do but i also remember like i have things to plan for in the future so like I should, I think about how to further myself so that my future self is well off the way I want to be well off. Um, and I feel like everyone's definition of well off is different, but for me, it's um, being able to provide for my family if something should ever happen. Um, just being happy like I am now. Like, I haven't. I feel like even last year, I still had somewhat of a depression. Um, I was happy, but I wasn't where I wanted to be. And I feel like now I'm at where I want to be for the most part. I still feel like I have bad days, but not like last year or even the year before that. Um, and yeah, I'm just really proud of my progress. And I feel like talking about my depression and my anxiety and all that stuff will... Uh, help people and for the, the conversation of mental health especially in the black community because I feel like people take it as a joke and um, that's something I wanted to talk about because uh, with Summer Walker talking about her social anxiety it just brought out the ignorance that surrounds mental health especially anxiety because people believe that it's not a real thing and that you don't have it and I want to make a whole video on this um, let me know if I should in the comments down below, but, like, it's something that I'm very passionate about, so, yeah, I feel like I just want to talk about it, and, um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and join the True Beauty family, and... Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. Bye.